All right, here we are, the smash o mash fake news weather report, alarmist style. I'm going to start out by looking at the U.S. AccuWeather Doppler radar, where we've got a couple different scenarios going on here. Although you can't see it, there's a rotating low off the coast of the, uh, the mid-Atlantic. There's a line of storms all the way from uh, Lake Ontario down to Illinois, the Midwest. Some hard hat and helmet weather in there. <clears throat> Looking a little bit closer here. <clears throat> Give you a better breakdown. So, helmets here. Helmets here. Helmets here. And helmets here. These other areas in between, like here. And up here. And here. Just have your boats ready. And you will be good. All right, before we go farther, we did get a community guideline strike last night from YouTube because uh, we put out a video about the human trafficking pages or prostitution pages or whatever they are on Facebook. I'm sure you've probably seen the requests, various posts from obviously the same woman claiming to have different names and asking if you want and then providing a link which uh, redirects from a YouTube link to some sort of phishing site. I won't say anything more than that because I don't want to get this video taken down like the last one. So let's instead go look at the NASA GOES shortwave satellite to show us the clouds that are associated with the weather. By the way, there's also some heavy storms coming off of Florida here in the Gulf of Mexico. So don't get on a boat with Mark Wahlberg down there. Because as we all know, last thing you want to see in life is not a hunk drowning. There's also some very strong storms coming out of Mexico over here. Not sure if that's a hurricane yet. I'll look that up later. But there's a lot of activity. There's sort of an anti-cyclonic rotation. Let's look at the water vapor and get an even better view of what's happening. All right. So... Here's your rotating low off the mid-Atlantic. Here's your anti-cyclonic rotation down here. And, whoops, get rid of that. And we've got extreme heat in the southwest, which regularly does happen in the summertime. And... A large area with the possibility of reverse hail. For those of you who don't know what reverse hail is, also in Florida. Those of you who don't know what reverse hail is, reverse hail is when the atmosphere sucks ice cubes out of your freezer, pulls them up into the sky, and they sublimate. Okay? Try to avoid that. Nobody wants their freezer to implode. So, you know, crack that freezer. All right. Let's look a little closer at some of these areas. Now, I don't know what's going on here, but it's scaring the crap out of us. Look at this. It's like a rotating low here that's just stationary right off of New Jersey. Doesn't have very much clouds associated with it. Uh, maybe there's an alien spacecraft sucking seawater out of the ocean. Maybe the Illuminati is creating some kind of crazy vortex. I don't know. But if you're flying over that area or if you're on a boat out there and, you know, you haven't drowned yet, you haven't been sucked into space by this insane rotating low pressure here. Let us know what's going on because it's scaring the crap out of us. Finally, let's look at these reverse hail areas. I would say the most likely chance of reverse hail is going to be in these yellow zones down and all around here. See? That's where your ice cubes can be sucked out of your freezer. So, remember, when you're getting community guideline strikes, don't drink. And if you get community guideline strikes, don't drink and drive because they'll drive you to want to drink. <laughs>